Got another organic mechanisms question for you to try. So this one's number 15. There's the question there. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so we've got an example of an electrophilic substitution mechanism. We've got quite a bit of information about the mechanism and it's sort of partially been uh, drawn for us. So we've basically just got to add the curly arrows, etc. Uh, fill in the blanks here and write a couple of equations. Okay, so if we think about this first bullet point, ethanol oil chloride first reacts with aluminium chloride to form this um, cation, which is going to uh, behave as an electrophile. So I'll just write up the equation for that. So there it is there. You'll notice I am sort of keeping the same uh, format for the formula of the electrophile in my equation. You could easily just write CH3CO plus, that would be fine, but because they've given us that, I've just mirrored it there. So the next part of the mechanism, the electrophile and the benzene ring interact with each other. Just remember the definition of an electrophile, it's an electron pair acceptor. So what's going to happen is it's going to accept a pair of electrons from that pi electron cloud. So they're going to be drawn up towards that C plus and it's going to attach the electrophile to the benzene ring. And the upshot of that is to generate this intermediate. So I'm kind of using the final structure in the intermediate structure. We show the H, remember it's already there, but we show it in the intermediate because it gets involved in the next part. Um, another thing to remember is the partial electron cloud in the benzene ring. I would always say to my students, cover five of the six carbons with this so it's big enough and don't forget your positive charge. So the next thing we need to do is go from the intermediate to the products, the organic product and the H plus ion. And the way that happens is a pair of electrons from that CH bond go back into reform the pi electron cloud. So we do that by drawing a curly arrow from the bond to the middle of that benzene ring there. And then the final thing we need to do is just show the role of the AlCl3. We're told it's acting as a catalyst, so we need to basically get it back. So the way we do that is we go um, for the AlCl4- ion, it was formed in the first step. We take the H+, plus that's just been kicked off that benzene ring. That's going to generate an HCl molecule and the catalyst is reformed. 